Hey everybody, just a real quick reminder that Team Hood shirts are on sale until the 16th of March. There's a great variety of different shirts to choose from, so just check out the store. My personal favorite is the long sleeve shirt with a Team Skull-esque design going down each sleeve. The link to this is on screen and in the description. How's it going everybody? It's me, Tetris Block, and we're back with some more Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. This is, of course, the second part to this series. Uh, if you haven't seen the first part, then please, please, please check it out. Uh, I'd love for you guys to start uh, start watching this series. This is a series I really want uh, a lot of you guys to get on board with, and a lot of you already have. A lot of you guys really want to see me continue, so we are going to. Thank you so much for the support in the first video. If you want to keep it up, a like is greatly appreciated, and uh, it goes a long way. Anyways, enough intro sh shenanigans. Let's go ahead and get a move on with uh, with gameplay, I guess. Hey, Axel, you made it. Did you catch any cool Pokemon? Wait, don't tell me. I want to see them in battle. First, we should check out this place. Uh, it's the trainer school. I don't know about you guys, but in in Pokemon games, I, I really hate every single trainer school. Uh, I, I never find them fun. I mean, I guess school is just something I don't agree with. Right, okay, so he's talking about a gym leader. Um, so I guess we're gonna go take on our first gym leader soon. Cool. Donna's not at the gym at the moment. She's taking a short break and is relaxing in the Serpentine Gardens. Okay, so we've got a battle against our rival, but that, that brings me to the point of how, how would being a gym leader work? Are you, like, employed by the Pokemon government and do you have set set hours that you have to work or like you know how how does it work i'm genuinely curious as to how because they seem to just be able to take a break whenever they like you know and i don't think that would fly with an actual job yeah so uh the leveling in this game seems to be actually pretty wild because this is my rival's first pokemon it's level 11. also um i i i know nobody really asked um but for the, the sidebar, um, I'm actually, I'm not going to put every Pokemon in my party on there. I'm only going to be putting the Pokemon I consider team members on there, if that makes sense. If, I, if there's a Pokemon on my team, but it's not in the sidebar, then I'm not, I'm not planning on training it, basically. That's, that's how that worked. Oh, damn, he's got rollout. Uh-oh. This isn't looking too good for us, guys. Right, okay, so it, they do have it. So if you lose, they don't force you to go back and re-challenge him. Damn. I can't believe I actually lost to my rival. I really should go do some training. Like, who's this guy? Nice battle, but it could have been better. The name's Rick. I'm a trainer from Rasic City. I'm traveling through Rikoto to collect badges. Uh, so this guy apparently beat the gym leader. Also, can we have a shout out, by the way, to uh, female bug catchers? There's only been male bug catchers in the Pokemon franchise, I'm pretty sure. Oh, she, she looks like an important character. I'm assuming this is the gym leader. Wow, she's actually got a really nice design. I like that. I'm Donna, and you are? Oh, you're Axel, nice to meet you. Oh, you want a battle? Well, I guess that would be fun. Head back to the gym and get prepared, so please come get me when you're ready. Cool, try the, who's this? Jumple? Who's he? He looks kinda nice, look at him, he just, he's just sitting there, man. He's having a, having a great time. <gasps> oh my God, yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, do you guys remember last episode? I was really, I was, oh my God, I'm so happy. She's here, she's here, this is like, a My Little Pony version of Burbombi. I don't care. I think she's really cool. I'm gonna catch her. All right, I got everything I wanted from here. So I guess we're gonna go take on the gym leader. Now she is a grass type leader. Um, so I think I'm, I'm four times resisted with my with my uh, with my my grass bird here. But you know, as we saw, the rival had a had a grass type that had rollouts. So we might not be safe. We might we might not have an easy time winning. But we'll. We'll certainly do our best, I guess. All right, first trainer. Let's see if you're ready for the gym battle. Yeah, it doesn't look like much of a puzzle here, you know, as as first gyms typically go. Stotox, what the hell is this all about? Oh my God, he looks cool. All right, come on, another one. Donna's my friend, she will beat you. Oh, what? Oh my God, he's a frog. It's a frog. I have to get him. Look at this frog. Look at this frog, dude. I need him. I don't care if he just did a whole bunch of damage to me. I need this boy in my team. Where do I get one? Bidox, what the heck? Is this a bug type gym? Wait, did I did I misinterpret what type of gym this was? I, I'm really confused if maybe it's grass and bug. I don't know anymore. Okay, so I just spoke to that guy. Apparently she is a poison type trainer. I don't know where I got grass from. Did I did I misread something? I'm looking for Lavin Seed. Wanna trade with my moon key? I have a Lavin Seed. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're doing an in-game trade. I can just go back into the forest and get one if I need to. Uh, so we get Moon Key, which is... Oh, oh my god! 
It's so, it's so cute. Obviously that's a moon monkey. Uh, what's moon key all about? I'm not a huge fan of its name just being moon key. Uh, but I mean, I don't know if I can maybe nickname it myself. Uh, trick shot is a fairy type physical move. The user distracts the target then shoots them with a small rock or other pellets. This may also may make the, just kind of, kind of cuts off there. Moonkey is a psychic type. Makes sense. He's from the moon. So apparently the gym leader is a poison type. So bug and grass types don't do well. So I've been trading my grass flying type for uh, essentially no reason. Um, I'm going to go into, I'm going to send out Mudkip 2 first, I guess. It's, I don't think I stand a chance here, but we'll try our best. Damn. Okay. She's just going to kick my ass. Oh, hey, it's that doctor. He tried to call me? Oh, man, I have to go immediately. That's so epic. All right, well, I guess we can um, go back through the forest and, uh, I guess, pick up our reward for helping that man's sick wife. Uh, that was the quest we got last episode. All right, let's see what's going on with this man. You found her friend? Yeah, I did find him. So grateful. I'll head back to my wife now. Take this for your effort. Five super potions. Thank you. Kind of wish I got something better, like, a, you know, five, five rare candies. You know, that would have been super nice. But whatever, dude. Hey, we're trying to learn Bubble Beam on Mudkip 2. Finally, some good moves. Maybe we'll actually get some damage done now. All right, so I'm going to check out the forest to the left. Oh my god. The music. Okay. So unfortunately, the forest won't allow us to progress. Um, but I guess we can check, see if there's anything cool in the headbutt trees. The music's kind of cool, but it's also kind of obnoxious. I'm really split uh, as to how I feel about it. So I guess all that's really left to do is to try and take on the gym leader again. I was trying to level up a bit, but it takes so goddamn long in this game and there's no kind of speed up button to help grinding. So uh, that is a little bit unfortunate, but if we lead with our grass type, we should, we should be okay because obviously she leads with a grass type as well. Or at least I assume it's a grass type, but hey, let's do our best. Hamster can be our, uh, our, our, our fodder and uh, the other two guys can do all the damage. I still, I really want this Pokemon. I really want, I need to look up where you get it. It's so, it's so cute. Ah, uh, it does so much damage to me. Please stop. Okay. I would totally grass whistle, but I'm pretty sure it's a grass type, so that probably wouldn't work. Yeah, this is unfortunate. This thing just beats me. And she used the potion on her to, to dart. I thought it was toe dart, but it's to dart. Uh, we keep dropping its special defense though, so we might be okay to take it out here. And we did. Cool. Um, so, Spidox. Uh, see, Rosie can actually deal with that because it is a bug type. While it is at, Rosie is at a disadvantage, it can actually deal with Spidoxes. Um, but obviously, I don't have any revives. And I don't think you can get revives this early on. So, we're going to sack off Ham here. I don't know if we can beat this, but we'll, we'll try. We have Headbutt now, so that's cool. Wait, it poisoned me? Oh, it's got Poison Touch. And we flinched! What is this hacks? All right, it's all down to Mudkip 2. Bubble Beam, cool. I'm glad we got Bubble Beam because it's doing a lot more than Bubble. No, no hacks here, good, good. And then all we have left is one more Pokemon. I mean, Fever, oh my God, look at this thing. It's literally, it's literally like, I'm assuming the origins of this name is, it sounds like Fever, as in illness. It literally used Fever, uh, which, Oh, it's got an iron berry. Okay, I was like, why did that heal? Uh, we're in torrent range. We are, and we win. Yes. Let's go. <sighs> I need a bit more training. Okay, cool. We actually won. Nice. That was close. Even though I lost, that was a good battle. I got a lot more uh, to learn, it seems. I'm happy to give you this. Oh my god, the animation. That is a good animation. I mess with this. And we got TM 102. Over 100 TMs in this game. Has a chance of making the foe become burned with a fever. Thanks for the battle. Good luck in your journey. That's really cool, man. I like that they're adding their own moves to this game. That's super dope. Uh, so our first ever TM is fever. Um, nobody on my team can learn it, but I imagine Mudkip will probably evolve to learn it. Uh, if he becomes a poison type. You won? Wow. That's such a cool badge. I'll go battle to honor for my badge now, but you should head back over to the trainer school and see what Mr. Bella has for winning the gym match. I'll catch you later. All right, cool. Oh, it's going to be cut, right? You have to beat my four students and I will give you something. Are you kidding me? It looks like after all these four battles, though, Mudkip is actually going to be evolving. So I'm super excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm assuming it's level 16 because, you know, most starters typically are. Yes, 
Mod Cap 2 is evolving. Okay. This. Oh, he goes on he goes on two feet. Uh-oh. I don't know if I like this. Wait, cancel. Um So our baby is gonna evolve into Salanip. Yeah, that's um that's essentially the marsh stomp of the Mudkip line. He's uh <laughs> He's most certainly a Pokemon. I don't know if I like that very much. I don't hate it. I mean it fits, you know, but I, I like I liked him when he was on all fours. Why does he have to stand up? Uh, yeah, he is a water poison type though, as I, uh, as my, as my great detective skills, uh, figured out, you know. If him learning acid, wow, I'm so smart. Uh, at least I can learn him fever now, which is, um, actually a 60 base power move. That's actually pretty good. We'll give it a growl. Dove heart, oh, you came to the wrong place. I just got a poison type. Man, I'm so sorry. Although, a poison type move that can burn, that's pretty insane. Alright, cool. Well, you've been on the floor of my students, as promised. Here's your reward. Clippers. Okay, so it's not cut. It's literally just clippers. Trainers used to uh, use hidden machines to teach Pokemon special moves to interact with the environment. Many trainers uh, use Pokemon called a HM slave. So to prevent this, some special items were created to replace the hidden machines. One of these is clippers here. It allows you to cut down the bushes and stuff like this. You could with a HM cut. You don't need that anymore. My daughter has one too. Hope the clippers will help you in your journey. That is kind of funny that they mentioned it. I, I mean, obviously this is a fan game, but I do not think they would ever, 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 ever in Pokemon talk about HM slaves. <laughs> oh, hey, it's pink lady. Take this. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the best. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy. I was just thinking earlier how much I wanted an EXP share, but I didn't know if I was silly for asking for it too early. And it is the, tra it is the traditional EXP share where you, you hand it to a Pokemon. Oh, I'm so happy. You know what this calls for? This calls for a team update. I really want to see what Moonkey's all about. And uh, I've got a feeling Ham Hamstar is going to be really lame. So we're going to go ahead and replace Hamstar with Moonkey. Sorry, Hamstar. I, I, I love you still, but... Moonkey is so cute. So we're gonna give Moonkey the EXP share and that should actually help it quite a bit because uh, Of course it is a traded Pokemon. So that's gonna be epic. Oh, yeah mystic water We should probably hand that to our starter Pokemon that probably would have helped in the gym leader battle Anyways, we can actually uh, move on to dwindled forest. Let's uh, let's Let's see what this guy's all about. I guess Hey, you you're that trainer from Serpentine City. I see you want a gym badge. Maybe you're not so weak after all See this web here. It was made by Spydox. You're gonna cut it down if you want to get through but if you do it's very likely it'll be attacked by a Spydox. I mean, you are destroying its web. Wow. He wasn't mean to me. He actually gave me something informative. Okay, cool. We did get attacked by a Spydox. I don't really like this thing because I don't like spider Pokemon that much. And also, it is literally just a spider. <laughs> it doesn't look like a Pokemon at all. Looks like... Oh, wait. Right. Okay. Yeah, I told you. Well, anyways, Spydox here are weak. Cool. All right, we're battling Rick. Uh a pick Rick! You guys, you guys like, you guys like Rick and Morty? I like Rick and Morty. Just kidding. Oh, whoa! Look at him, Paracaw. Oh, he's so cool. I want one. I'm gonna grass whistle, and of course I'm gonna miss and probably just immediately die. Yep, that's unfortunate. Oh well, I guess this entire battle is gonna be soloed by Mudkip too. I really want to change the name. If you guys can su suggest a nickname for Mudkip too, feel free. I don't know what to call him. Oh, we got the burn. Nice. Jumble. Oh, it's this little guy. Uh, I'm assuming you're... You're grasp... Uh, it doesn't matter, you're dead. Wait, what's this? Dynamite. Oh my god. Okay, he looks like a starter Pokemon. Is he maybe like another starter Pokemon from like a different type of the part of the game? I don't know. He looks cool though. Dynamite. I'm still better. Yeah, man. Sure you are. Wow, finally we're learning wing attack. Hell yeah, we can actually maybe do damage to things now. Hold on, what the heck is that? That thing is cool. It looks like a woke Shedinja. <gasps> oh my god, who's he? What's he all about? What's his story? I like him. Rubball? He looks really epic. I want to be his friend. Oh wait, what's this all about? Hold on. Huh? Miss Scarlet, was the Earthstone in there? We've got it, it's ours. We're one step closer to achieving our goal. I think someone's listening in on us. Oh, these are the bad guys. Who is it, a team solar spy? You, who are you and what are you? I'm just gonna say, say team smaller. You better not be lying to me if you are. If you tell those losers commanders that the Earthstone is ours, there's no way they're getting their hands on it. Miss Scarlet will take care of this little punk. Dude, I'm literally a bystander, leave me alone. 
So these are grunts. Okay. Listen, kid, I don't know who you are, but you're going down. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're battling the commander immediately. Oh, I thought that was an eye patch, but it's just white hair. Right. That's actually kind of cool. What the hell is this little guy? Oh my god. It's like, shop it, but happy. I love it. I really want one. I don't really care for its name, but I really want one. It's so cute. I really need it. No, I'm sorry. I didn't want to take you out. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What's this? Dracula. Darkula. Darkula. Right? That's a really... It's another spider Pokemon, which I'm not too happy about. I really hate spiders. Stay out of our way. We're from Team Lunar, and we're on a mission to take over this region and its laws. There's no room for weak. Only the strong should prosper. If you want something, take it, claim it, do whatever you can to get it. That's how the world should be, and that's how it will be. If you're lucky, you might be able, uh, one of the strong people who can live in our ideal world. Grunts, let's go. We have what we came for. That is very strange. Okay, what's this all about? Found a ground gem. Okay. And the door is closed. I imagine this will be maybe something to do with a legendary Pokemon. I guess we're going to come back here later. All right, let's try out Moonkey then. Let's use Trick Shot. Why not? Didn't really do much, but we made it flinch. Oh my god. Cool. Let's stick to Confusion because we are a Psychic type after all. <gasps> oh my god. Finally, a good Pokemon encounter. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I need to catch this little man. Being small and fragile, Tadart lives in its leaf to camouflage it into the forest environment and keeps itself afloat in the water to avoid predators. He's so amazing. I love him. All right, and we are done in here. Gosh, bless. And we're at Route 2. Cool. Heal me, lady. Oh, <gasps> who's this? What? Okay, he just looks like a big mudkip. Aquad. What's he all about? What the heck? And I just one-shot him. Oops. Ugling. Uh... I feel like I've seen this Pokemon before in, in, in another ROM hack. I mean, this is literally bootleg dug, ducklet, but we'll catch it anyway. Who's this? Flowby? It's like cast form, but actually cute. Yeah, that's right. I don't really like cast form much, but this guy's nice. I have a gut feeling that this guy's going to be a pure flying type, so I'm going to Mega Drain him. Yeah, he's a pure flying type. It is the Cloud Pokemon. Although small and light, Flowby can use its control over the wind to create strong breezes that are capable of lifting an adult off their feet. I like Flowby. That's a Pokemon I'd consider using. All right, so I've been doing my best to find that boy that I saw at the beginning of the this area, but I couldn't find him. So I guess we're just going to move on. Whatever. I won my first gym badge too. Donna was strong, but I managed to defeat her. Now I'm going to go to Crestlight City Gym Leader. Let's do our best. <gasps> she has a Flowby. She's so smart. Honestly, with the amount of flying types in this game, I could probably be doing a mono flying type run and I would already have a full team. Sand Tomb? Wait, does Perlet become a ground type? That's kind of weird. Never would have- I mean, I guess I can kind of see it. It's got the color scheme to be a ground, fire ground type. I never would have guessed though. That's pretty cool, actually. Moonkey's trying to learn Psybeam. I think that is literally just better than Confusion, right? Yeah, cool. Oh, she gave me an apricot basket so I can get special Pokeballs. Hell yeah. Angling? Oh my god. Okay, it, it is a bit- a pretty simple design, but I, I like the shape of it. I think with a bit of work, this could be an actual Pokemon. Uh, and I'm assuming there's a male variant that's blue. Let's, let's, uh, let's see. Do you have, oh, oh. Oh, oh, he's got Aquad. The guy that I couldn't find again. I really, I really want to know the mystery behind him. Where, why did he disappear? Well, I mean, I know I knocked him out, but please come back. I just want to find Aquad again. Where is he? Please come back. <laughs> I got excited because it was blue. What's this all about? Oh, berry trees. Cool. All right, we're in Christlight City now, and there seems to be... Wow, I kind of like this place. I like the vibe I'm getting here. And that's when I was taking a stroll my uh, lob hog. I could feel a strange presence looking around, but I couldn't see anything suspicious. And a flash, someone grabbed my handbag and ran away with it. Must have been quite a shock, madame, but I understood that handbag has been found, right? Yes, yes. Demon just found it for me. I'm so glad. Nearly broke my neck over it. Perhaps we should charge the theme for attempted murder as well? Okay, come on. I swear he was a moving shadow. Perhaps it was a malicious dark Pokemon instead. I didn't know this existed. We have to take this very seriously. There are a number of rumors, similar incidents in the past few days. Ooh, baby. Okay. How could the thieves remain untraceable? I'm starting to fear for our safety in this city. We just a report apparently mysterious people were in Blackleaf Woods. They might be the ones um, we're looking for. After all, these incidents occur 
in the vicinity of Blackleaf Woods. <laughs> Look at him backing away. Looking for a gym battle. I have to say, you're a lucky one. We have blocked the city's gateway for crime. That means you have to stay within the city until it's solved. The only accessible part is Blackleaf Woods, which is a dead end, so there's nowhere to run or hide. Damon, the city's gym leader, is helping us, so... He isn't at the gym at the moment. He's searching for a mysterious guy in Blackleaf Woods. I think you shouldn't get in his way. Cool. So apparently we just can't leave this place. And it looks like the next gym leader is going to be a dark type gym leader. So that's pretty neat. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Because I'm finally content with the amount of progress we made. I recorded a bit extra uh, than, I, than I thought I would. But I'm honestly, I'm really enjoying this game. And I hope you guys are too. If you are, a like on the video is greatly appreciated. Uh, and until next time, I guess, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.